right. <clears throat> it is time. Time to uh, to do some warm up. Exciting, exciting, exciting. How's it going, Natsuki? How are you? And and the Yeah, 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 yeah. Morning stretch. Standard morning stretch. <clears throat> so today I was thinking something from you guys. <laughs> Hi, Georg. Hey, Orion. How's it going, man? Um. Yeah, some uh, random topic from you guys. Uh, that would be um, that would be great. Hmm, should be done. So while you guys think about topic, I'll um. I'll fiddle around with settings here. Badoosh. Just put it up there. Let's put it up there. Hey, Algani, how's it going? <laughs> Orion, that's good. Up your game, man. Figure out what you don't like and then just fix it. Do your own thing because they like it, they like you. So just keep doing you and just try to be a better you and it'll be good. The eighth, eighth, eighth monument. That's a pretty cool topic. Neon Witch, awesome. Demonic Cheerleader, even cooler. Uh, hey, Captain Jetlag, how's it going, man? <laughs> Chillstrand's topic is good morning. Ah, I like that. <laughs> so, some topics, man. Mar Martian deadline hunters. Hey, what the fuck? Alright. Hey, Amir, how's it going? Alright, so... Um, mm -mm 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 Let's um, roll the dice. Roll it. Rolling number four. Obviously rigged. Obviously rigged. So number four is a number one neon witch. Eight. The eighth monument. Demonic cheerleader is number three. Um, Martian deadline hunters. Okay. Martian Deadline Hunters. Hmm. Right. While we wait, let's look at Chillstrand, our very own Chillstrand's reveal trailer here. by Chilstrand's team, right? Chilstrand said that uh, he had made some buildings in the background. Oh yeah. Looks pretty cool, man. like a sim city of survival let's go I'd, I'd buy this I will buy this let's 
looks really cool. Just my kind of game. Looks awesome, man. Oh. Yeah, No Man's Sky Sim City, for sure. Hey, Ricky Ricky, this is uh, Chillstrand's uh, his work. They released uh, the studio that he works for. They released their trailer. Pretty cool, man. Huh? Good job. It's a buy for me. I would definitely, I will buy that when it comes out. It looks super fun. Looks really cool. So Martian, um, Martian um, Deadline Hunters. Martian Deadline Hunters, Martian Deadline Hunters. All right, all right. Let's make a funny drawing. Just gonna sketch it up. Um, That? No. We'll do that that okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. That was an awesome trailer. It definitely delivered on like what you would expect. Uh, you know, like a, a, maybe a little bit too much of the same like base building. You know, it's like okay, I get it. Okay, I get, it. I get it. I get it. Calm, calm down. I get it. It's base building. <laughs> Schmaze, welcome back. Welcome back, Schmaze. Yeah. So a deadline hunter. I'm drawing a deadline hunter. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Jetlag. Hey, Avuda Breakfast. Fantastic. Nice to see you here. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, cheese, son. The cheese. The cheese. Amazing amount of cheese. Hey, Tomku, how's it going? I must have missed you completely. Welcome. Woof, woof. Where is Tomku? All right. Hey, 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 hey. I got too much, too much, Tomku. Everyone's, everyone's typing. It's a waterfall of, 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 of people. Um, it's a waterfall of people. How about that? That <laughs> nice wobbly lines. Hey, Miller Finn. Good morning. Yeah, that's a really cool trailer. By the way, I had a, a second look uh, back at um, Cyberpunk 2077. And I must say, it looked pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, one thing that I still maintain, though, which is a, I was a little bit surprised by, is the um, like the wide color palette. It's very lush, um, and I don't necessarily think that for me that that fits of what I expected it. You know, like a very lush and broad palette. Personally, I would have enjoyed a little bit more muted palette but um, you know who am I to to say uh, what you know what, <laughs> what their game should look like but uh, looking at it um, I uh, would have thought that 
based on the that uh, woman dying um, woman dying trailer um, that they released the first uh, first view of uh, first reveal many years ago it was quite mature you know so beyond good and evil 2 devs are working with a platform called hit record all oh, right 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 yeah yeah like you is a um, community based open source type thing for the world <laughs> exactly, Bistonian. It is cheap labor. Um. <laughs> if Beyond Good and Evil comes out, yeah, exactly. Atsuki, yeah, that's true. It's true. I mean, it's very vibrant uh, cyberpunk. Um, I didn't mind it. I mean, it it has some really cool features, you know, which you know the general rule uh, in in trailers like that generally is uh, don't reveal, don't show anything that isn't implement being gonna be implemented in the game, right? So, like have hidden gameplay features within their uh, CG. You know. Uh, so in a way, like, what we saw there was quite interesting things in general. Like, you can obviously have some sort of bot with you and all sorts of things. Algani, well, I, I not necessarily agree that everything, just because it's cyberpunk, it needs to be in rain. I mean, that's that's Blade Runner, and that's obviously, uh, you know, it um, it set its um, specific tone, right? It's this kind of shitty atmosphere. But I, I don't think necessarily that has to be cyberpunk. But for me... When I think cyberpunk, I don't think um, uh, a wide palette. I mean, you can have colorful, um, colorful things. But what I was surprised about is that the green they chose versus the red they chose versus the purple they chose is like to each uh, end of the spectrum, like temperature-wise. Um, and I guess I guess that's a little bit what I was um, surprised by is, is that the kind of the white gamut in in colors. I wasn't expecting that, and I think looking at the trailer the the second time, that's a little bit what I kind of feel bad about. Like, oh, that's a shame. Like, for example, let's take... Um, um, let's take Deus Ex, right? I think they went too far. Everything is, like, bathed in gold. The gold, like, sepia gold filter on everything. There's almost no colors in, in Deus Ex. Um, so, yeah, I think, um, I think it's, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's the first time they show the world, um, and maybe they have, uh, other locations and, and, and moods, um, That'll that'll that will change the my impression of the world, 
you know, who knows? It's super early days. But they did choose they did choose to show that, right? They obviously worked um, they worked on it. <laughs> you know. They didn't just throw anything together. They did decide on what to show. So they obviously saying, okay, we want strong colors, we want um, this scene, that scene, and so on. Which, you know, you can argue might not be the, what you would, would have expected from the world. Or maybe it's just me. <laughs> Maybe I just assumed that it would look a certain, certain way. Piss filter. <laughs> yeah, the piss filter. Let me um, let me actually uh, show you the cyberpunk while while I draw. For those who haven't seen it. One second. Okay. So here we go. Have a look see. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there. Just around the corner. And it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams. And I'm a big dreamer. As it dates it a little bit, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, the uh, do you see do you see what I mean about the palette being ex very wide? Like, I would almost like a f like to have a grading on top of it, you know that that pushes the palette a little bit, a little bit, um, I guess more towards realism. Or maybe now thinking about it again and having a second look at it, maybe it's lack of definition of materials. Maybe it feels all a little bit samey. I don't know. But for me, it, it doesn't... F something is like... Something is missing. That, that layer of of oh yeah you know like there's some cool shapes i love the car i love the feeling of it i like i like a lot of the technology a lot of the design elements um yeah i mean it's a tricky one. It's like, how would you have done it, right? It's like, I'm, I'm sitting here shitting on their, their work. 
and I'm just thinking, right, like, if I'm gonna, like, complain about their work, how would I, would I what would have I, I have changed, rather than just saying, you know, instead of just sh you know, shitting on, on, on their, their work, try to find a solution, right? I would have... Maybe I would have liked to see better material definition. Like, one thing that I think, as I remember, I might be wrong, but Deus Ex had... Um, had great material definitions. Okay, for the sake of a experiment, let's um, let's look at the announcement of mankind divided Deus Ex. Are human beings. Each and every one of us. This must not go on. This injustice must end. An increase in the number of terrorist attacks highlights the danger posed by augmented citizens. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. Help me! Sometimes, you just have to let go, and embrace what you've become. They've worked from the shadows for years, shaping the future, manipulating lives, controlling information. Innocents have died as they play their game. We will not sit idly by and allow our rights to be eroded out of fear and ignorance any longer. We will not be herded into ghettos and treated as outcasts. We will stop at nothing. The world is different now. The old rules no longer apply. So much pain. So many lies. They're dark. Yeah, true. True. Cuts. Not far off though. Obviously. Not the same. Details recovered from the black box recorder. I want McCree to like mess around with the controls and stuff. Yeah, it's a tricky one. <laughs> Why aren't explosions golden? Yeah, it's, it's because it's the piss filter. <laughs> it's, it's a perfect name for it. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, cyberpunk... Let's look at the original one. The teaser trailer. Okay. 
so and, uh, we can uh, compare. Come touch me like I'm an ordinary man. Have a look in my eyes. Underneath my skin, there is a violence. It's got a you see, this, this version has ready way to make, more. Uh, ready to make breath, ready to great. make sense of anyone, anything, anyone, anything, anyone, anything, anyone, anything, anyone, anything. Black holes living in the side of your face, razor wire spinning around your eyes. Yeah, I mean, looking at it, <clears throat> looking at the trailer, that original one, right? Um, it's really cool. It's really like gritty, and you go like, "Oh wow, this is just like uh, Blade Runner." That's fantastic. But I mean, in a way, to to defend the change in direction that they have done to the a little bit more uh, neo-punk uh, fashion style uh, styled direction right this is looking at that that uh, original reveal trailer about the the woman we just saw um, it to be honest you can forget that scene easily like the the closest you could say is a different Blade Runner, right? It's not cyber, it's not cyberpunk. Um, the game as an entity, right? When we're looking at it, we just go, "Oh, that's cyberpunk genre." We can't say that's Deus Ex. We can't say uh, anything else uh, about it other than, "Oh, it's uh, Blade Runner cyberpunk." And there's nothing in that trailer um, that makes it hold its own, right? To, to be fair. Hey, Rowdy, how's it going? Um, and I... The, the two trailers are extremely separate from each other. They are, they don't look the same at all. And uh, and I can see why they haven't shown anything for a long time. And, and this reveal is drastically changing um, the tone. But that being said, <clears throat> personally... I'm I'm missing um, I'm missing some grading on the the latest trailer that that even though they want colorful stuff I think they need to tie it a little bit more to um, a mature audience. Um, In the sense of um, of grading the palette, like I said, when I, you see the palette is being so wide, it's so easy. Um, it's so easy for it to go garish. 
you know, like extreme colors to each end, where where there is there isn't really harmony. I'm not saying it there isn't in the trailer. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit it's a bit hard to to put in words, but well, I would probably need to take a screenshot of the trailer and do some grading on top to be able to explain like how I how I see it and uh, what I would like to see uh, in terms of like changes. Uh, but is it kind of being different for the sake of being different? A little bit, a little bit. But I can see the reasoning, reasoning behind it being it, it wants an identity. Like if you took screenshots of different games, would you be able to pick out that original trailer saying that's that's a cyberpunk or that cyberpunk genre? Uh, well, you're not really neglecting the the pro concept of the IP. It's just a matter of presentation, right? Like, what's the what's the purpose of it, or what's the goal of it? Um, in in terms of identity, like what what a lot of people do as a, when you're an art director, um, what you should do is uh, you should uh, compare the game to other games and do like a, a, a board and see, okay, this is our game versus that game versus this game. Versus, like what, what stands out, you know, you need a game in a frame type illustration or screenshot that, uh, that allows you to see um, allows you to see the game, you know, what you choose to be the most important aspects of the game, right? So that uh, you you have everything that that dictates what the game is in a one single shot, right? So if the game is about, let's say, cyberpunk, oh, it's maybe the guy in the car um, or the guy in the cafe there being shot in the face or whatever, you know, whatever you want to be the key key thing. And then uh, with everything applied, like texture or stylization and palette and grading and, and whatever, whatever it is. And then you compare and you go, all right, where do we stand as an, ex as an ex exercise as an art director? Like, where do we stand in terms of uh, unique identity or, or uh, appeal? I mean, obviously, usually, you can only compare it to an already released game. Uh, so you got to try to to think ahead, but also not trying to copy, because when you try to copy or match, you run the risk of losing identity, which I think that they did in 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 uh, Cyberpunk, the reveal trailer. They ticked all the boxes of what cyberpunk should be, dictated by Blade Runner. The floating cop car, uh, rain, da 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 But if you would have been placed them um, next to each other, you know, like a screenshot, <laughs> risk is um, you would for you would um, you would not uh, know the. that the woman you would only know it's cyberpunk due to that woman no other reason that's my thinking So I can understand, 
I can understand and accept their choice in changing visuals. I get it. I would have just liked to see a little bit better um, coherency in the palette, I guess. Yeah, exactly, a voodoo breakfast. We haven't seen anything I, as well. <laughs> Kjork. Tanium, that could be true. Could be a generational thing as well. Algani, I'm not saying to blow the colors out either. A voodoo breakfast. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not talking about the content. I'm talking about the treatment. Shitty drawing, even. Anyways, time's up. Yeah, exactly, Atsuki. That's what I think they did to create an identity. Rowdy. Yeah, absolutely. I think so too. I'm. I'm not. I'm not shitting on any of their decisions. I'm just saying, like my general impression was that it's too garish. It's like it's too. The colors are too broad. So let's see what the creative people are doing. It's um, pretty cool. Let's raid gears. Uh, gears art. Gears art. <coughs> All right, everyone. Uh, have a um, have a great day. Sorry for the shitty drawing of a full on chat discussion. Um, see you tomorrow morning for some more art. Hopefully not this <laughs> crappy, but uh, whatever. It's a warm up. It is not. Uh, it's not masterpiece. Of, a masterpiece of morning stream is warm up. <laughs> it's okay, man. I don't. I don't. It's just all about being uh, uh, being active in the brain. Cool, Algani. I'll try to have more of these kind of breakdowns. So let's go raid. Uh, let's go raid um, gears. Gears art. Have a great one. Uh, see you tomorrow morning. Bye, all. <laughs>